Hello everyone, Mel Corey reporting here from uh, Lurgan, County Armagh in the north of Ireland uh, reporting on the latest on the coronavirus um, after a very very shaky start uh, initially by both governments uh, lockdowns were uh, initiated on both sides of the border the government and the Republic of Ireland were much more decisive closing schools almost immediately whilst in Northern Ireland there was division among nationalist and unionist Nationalist parties were calling for an all-Ireland approach, whilst Unionist parties were calling for a slavish devotion to the policy of the British government, uh, which at that point and still today is herd immunity, um, which is uh, uh, causing uh, untold havoc right across the country um, and shows the absurdity, really, of uh, 100 years nearly of partition in this island uh, when what we need is a concerted effort to create um, one healthcare system for all the citizens of Ireland. Um, and this happens at a time when uh, the health services that are in Ireland are, have experienced um, nearly 50 years of, of gross neglect on underfunding and attacks on the terms and conditions of people who work in the health sector. And now those people are being hailed as heroes. Um, and the workers... Uh, appear on social media sites day and daily begging for adequate supplies of personal protective equipment. Um, we're calling for testing, um, which is uh, woefully inadequate right across the country. Um, and, of course, the people that are suffering most are the poorest in society. And disproportionately, it affects women and people from black, Asian and ethnic minority uh, groups. Initially, of course, the government's response economically was to almost underwrite the cost that there would be no stone unturned to ensure that Britain and Ireland would survive this uh, terrible catastrophe. Um, and billions and billions of pounds was found um, to furlough workers to ensure that businesses survived. The conversation is changing now. It's changing towards um, how are we going to pay for this? Where is the money coming from? Uh, and it's very, very clear that when the purple clouds of this terrible uh, pandemic uh, pass over us, that the assault on workers and working people will begin. And it's imperative that those of us working actively, actively in the labour movement build a movement that's capable of creating a new world, a better world, um, and uh, we stand together in unity and solidarity. Thank <laughs> you.